Hi, my name is Jovi, and welcome back to Kids Corner. And today we're going to be learning about who Kane is. So Kane is a brother of Abel. Cain and Abel are the sons of Adam and Eve. And they have a very good story to talk about today. So it's about two brothers who are the sons of Adam and Eve. And one of them is a farmer, which is Cain. And Abel is a shepherd. So, I think he was more than a shepherd. I think he had a lot of different livestock. Like pigs. Sheep, pigs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so God wanted both of them to give them a, the best gift they had. So they did. So the gifts they gave them was the Abel gave him his best sheep in his flock of sheep in his flock of sheep and Cain gave him some just any old items that he had. Any of his farm stuff he grew. Any of it yeah. Right. But God was sad because he didn't like that Cain didn't try his best. So he accepted Abel's gift, but not Cain's gift. Ooh, did that make Cain mad? Yeah, he was really mad. And so what did God tell him? God said, why are you so mad? Mm -hmm. Why are you so just distracted? Mm -hmm. And Cain said, I'm, I'm upset and distracted because I, you didn't accept my gift. And God said, I'll give you, do the right thing and I'll give, and I'll accept your gift. You have one more chance. And Cain said, okay. But then one day Cain said to Abel, will you want to go on the field with me? And he said, and he said, sure. Because why wouldn't he, right? Yeah. He was his brother. Why wouldn't yeah. he go? Right. Yeah. So he said, so when they're out in the field, I guess they're probably running or playing. He, I guess they're playing tag. And then when they were kind of rustling, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know for sure. But what was the bad but thing that happened? He attacked him and he killed him. Oh. So then God said, where's your brother? And, but he didn't know that he killed him. Right. God already knew, but yeah. he was wanting Cain to tell the truth. Yeah. He said, and Cain said, I don't know. And God said, did you kill your brother? And he said, yes. So then he said, I gave you one more chance. And you still haven't, and you he didn't still do right, haven't did, he? Did, did it right. So he kicked him out of the land where he lived and right. he had nowhere to live. And he had to find food by himself. Because God told him, none of your food is ever going to grow. Yeah. Right? And remember, Cain got worried and said, God, everybody's going to know what I did, and then people are going to try to kill me. And what yeah. did God say? He said, I will put a mark on you. I will put a mark on you, and the mark will mean no one is allowed to bother you. Wow. That's quite a story, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a story. Well, I think there's some things that we can learn from that story. Yeah. So, Jovi, let's share these things with our viewers one at a time. What's the first thing we can learn? What we give makes a difference. Okay, so what we give to God makes a, makes a difference. Yes. And God wants us to give our best and give with a good heart. Take Not be mad that we're, oh gosh, I've got to give this to God. He doesn't want us to be mad we to give. To say, here God, this is yours. This is yours, I want you to have this. Yes. Right, you okay, what's say, our second thing? You don't say, oh. I, I don't want to give this to God, it's my favorite thing. Right. You can buy another one. Right, or give it to God and be happy that you did the right thing, right? Yeah, because okay. then God will be happy and he may give you another one. Right, or give you something better. Yeah. 
Okay, what's our second thing? Don't envy others. Don't envy others. Now, envy means don't be jealous. Yeah, don't and that's one of the Ten Commandments. Because when you get jealous of people, sometimes you're not nice to that person. Some, sometimes you're jealous of something that you really can never have. And it's just it just makes you matter and matter. Kind of like Cain was jealous of Abel. And all that anger ended up making him kill his brother. Yeah. Okay, so we can learn, don't be jealous of others. What's the third thing? There's a right way to do th things. Right. Now, God told Cain, I will give you another chance. Do the right thing. Yeah. And Cain didn't do the right thing, did he? No. He stayed he mad. Lied. He lied. He stayed mad. He got madder. He got madder. And then that anger took over him, and he killed his brother. There, when, should, there should be right here, there should be like a don't lie. Right, right. <laughs> but it's All right. not. What's the fourth one say? Fourth one says there are consequences to our actions. Right. Now, consequences means something yeah. happens. Punishment. A punishment. Right. Or consequences can be good, too. Like if you go on a diet and you lose weight, your consequence is you lost weight. Yeah. So sometimes there's good consequences, sometimes there's bad ones. Yeah. All right? So Cain's consequence was he got kicked out of the land. Yeah. He couldn't grow food. And he had to find his own food. He had to find his own food. And he also had to find his own stuff where he drove because he couldn't go anywhere. Right. Well, back then they didn't have cars. He had to walk everywhere. Yeah. He yeah. was kind of a wanderer. So there's always a consequence for what we do. And it might not seem like it sometimes because sometimes consequences don't come immediately. Okay. They might come in three days. They might come in three years. Yeah. They might come in 30 years. But there's always a consequence when is to it action. 40 years? Could be. And what's the last thing we should learn? You have the power to do the right thing. You have the power right here to do the right thing. And if you feel like you don't have the power, you should pray about it. Yeah, whenever, because whenever Cain was about to kill his brother, he didn't say, am I going to kill my brother or no? Right, and he could have prayed right then. Yeah. God, I want to do the right thing. Please help me get rid of this anger. Yeah. And God would have helped him because that would have been Cain doing the right thing. Okay, are you ready to pray? Yep. Okay, me or you today? Um, you. All right, all right. Dear God, thank you for this story. It's a very sad story, Lord, but it teaches us good lessons. So, Jesus, we asked you to understand that what we give you makes a difference and that we need to do things the right way and we need to remember that we have the power through you and through your son, Jesus Christ, to always do the right thing. Dear Lord, we love you and we thank you for the many blessings that you've given us. Amen. Amen. All right, so Jovi, our next lesson, we're on the letter D. Yay. Our next letter, and you're learning a little song for the next one, right? Yeah. Okay, so our next lesson is about disciples. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll go turn the video off. Okay. You stay wrapped up cozy in your blanket. Tell everybody goodbye. Bye.